we have ZocDoc, a free service that allows patients to find a nearby doctor or dentist who accepts their insurance, see their real-time availability, and instantly book an appointment. The CEO, Cyrus Masumi, couldn't join us, but we're joined by one of their associates, Stacy Sendler. I want to welcome Stacy Sendler here with ZocDoc.com, the, for me, the best place to book your doctor appointment. So welcome, Stacy. Hi, thanks for having me. So I am a very passionate fan of ZocDoc.com. Can you explain to our audience exactly what this application is? Definitely. Well, ZocDoc strives to be, you know, the ally to the empowered patient. Like we're the easiest way, you know, to find an in-network doctor nearby with open appointment times and you just instantly click to book that appointment. Okay, so what you're saying is ZocDoc, if I go to ZocDoc.com, I can <laughs> avoid finding the doctor's phone number, finding that category of doctor if I'm looking for an optometrist, say, and mm -hmm. I can find them and I can also see what their schedule is and then just book it online. Is that what this application is? Yeah, uh, it really couldn't be easier. You can just go to the ZocDoc.com homepage or actually pull it up the app on your iPhone or Android so you can use it anywhere on the go and it'll just instantly you know, recognize your location and you just select your insurance provider and oh, the type perfect. of specialist you'd like to see so you can make sure you know that all those doctors are personalized for you, that they're in network, you're not going to be hit with those out of network fees and then once you get the list of in network doctors you can then view those doctor profiles with their photos, their education, their specialties and most importantly verified patient reviews so you can read um, you know other patients who've actually seen this doctor their experience with them to really find the best fit for you okay so you guys have thought of pretty much every aspect um, what's interesting yes. I was on I was talking to a friend the other day and she moved from Manhattan where this is where you guys are and she mm -hmm. moved to the burbs of Dallas like we both live near South Fork Ranch so we're talking burbs of burbs <laughs> and she was really concerned by the education of the physician and mm -hmm. I had never even considered it before I'm like what are you talking about like if they're available just go for it and she's like no I'm really concerned about the education and so it was the first time that we had actually had this open conversation about checking the background finding mm -hmm. out what they're publishing uh, what other people are saying and then where they received all their studies from and so it sounds like you guys have all of that in in one place so someone like my friend could go and say okay they're open and they have their degree from Harvard mm -hmm. or they published in this journal is that does it show all of that information right there? Yeah, I mean, cause, you know, your do relationship with your doctor is such a personal relationship. And, right. you know, it varies from one person to the next on, you know, which factors are most important to you. Some people, you know, location and convenience can be most important to them. Some people, you know, are really... Um, find that their availability, are they open late nights, weekends, important to them, or other people like your friend, you know, education, you know, is this a top quality doctor, uh, do they have, you know, this special, I have a special kind of medical condition, do they specialize in this? All those are super, super important, so we really try to find, you know, a complete um, wealth of all type of information on doctors out there to help you find the best decision. Perfect. So who came up with this brilliant idea? Where did this aha moment come from? Yeah, well, our, the idea for ZocDoc actually derived out of patient need. Our founder and CEO was on a cross-country flight a couple of, uh, about five years back when he ruptured his eardrum on landing. And he's in New York City, you know, where there's the most doctors out of right. anywhere in the world that should have been easy to, you know, call up an ENT and get an appointment. Um, and his father being a doctor, like, he's like, all right, I knew, I know I need to see this kind of specialist. I'm already, you know, halfway there. But it ended up taking him four days before he could find an in-network doctor who could see him, um, which is just crazy. You know, like most patients, he started with his insurance directory and just going through that list and found you know, that the numbers weren't working, the doctors weren't available, and in one case, the doctor had actually was deceased. And so he just thought, you know, there has to be a better way that I booked my flight online, I booked my dinner reservation online. Why can't I book doctor's appointments online as well? Yeah, especially with his situation, it's so acute that he mm -hmm. needs to get in somewhere rather quickly. And yeah. um, this is something with the clientele that I work with, boomers and seniors. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the boomers are 
a lot of them are in the sandwich generation. And so they're handling all the needs for themselves and their children. Uh, and then they're also handling the needs of their aging parents and booking that. So um, for them, I would imagine calling up doctors and making those appointments over the phone. And, you know, the last time I called a physician, I was put on hold and listened to some lovely elevator music for, <laughs> for quite a while. And that is really time sucking uh, time to give away to someone else. So. Why do you think, I mean, I can tell you why I think it's great, but why, why do you guys think that this is important? Who is it filling the need for? Yeah, I mean, it's filling the need for both doctors and patients alike. Uh, patients of all ages use it, as you mentioned, you know, with the caregivers. It's great because not only can you schedule appointments for yourselves, but you can schedule appointments and manage those appointments, you know, for your other family members as well. So it's great. So it really is a valuable tool to help you stay on top of the care of your loved ones. And as you mentioned, you know, the convenience factor and the time-saving sure. ability of not having to spend all that time on hold, of having, you know, to call all the these doctors to find the one near you that has that soonest appointment time, as well as just the simple access issue. The average wait time to see a doctor in the United States is over 20 days, which, you know, as most people know, they call once they finally get an appointment, it's like three weeks out. But with ZocDoc, the majority of our appointments uh, are made and seen the doctor within 24 to 72 hours. So it's really quick that we're able, you know, to reveal that hidden supply, as we call it, those 10 to 20 percent of cancellation appointments that, you know, pretty much every doctor has and are able to reveal those and get you those slots. Okay, that's interesting you bring that up. So you say the hidden supply. Uh, so this data is in real time. So if somebody using this ZocDoc system, if somebody cancels, it's immediately recognized and then that appointment block goes back onto the marketplace, I guess. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Kind of one, you know, the great secrets to why ZocDoc, you know, is so successful and so valuable is that we actually sync our software with the doctor's scheduling software. And so that way we're able to see in real time, as soon as an appointment is canceled or opened up, that is instantly available on the ZocDoc platform. Okay. So a physician can use what their, their scheduling software. So <laughs> ZocDoc is in addition to it. Okay, yes. so if somebody went to, let's say the doctor had a website, is ZocDoc on that website? Can they make an appointment and then it connects or do they need to go to ZocDoc.com and search from there or is it both? Yeah, definitely. I mean, our number one value is, you know, patients first, that we want, you know, to put the patients first in everything that we do and make this, you know, experience of getting the care that you need as easy and as seamless as possible. So while we offer the many ways, you know, to use ZocDoc on our webpage, our apps, we also work with our providers. Uh, we have a widget that we will place on their website where it says, you know, book online now, and you can click on that and it'll instantly connect you to their personalized ZocDoc page and everything's completely seamless. Perfect. Okay, so you guys have really thought of everything. <laughs> we try. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So the, the question that I've heard at a lot of conferences I've been attending and who I talk to out there, some of the healthcare thought leaders is, is technology really even helping healthcare? Definitely. I mean, we definitely think so that, you know, we saw this, there definitely was a need from this from personal experiences that we just saw that, you know, there's such inefficiencies in the healthcare system. And we think, you know, technologies like ZocDoc are continue are going to continue to be more and more important um, in the coming years, especially with healthcare reform and, you know, the recently passed ACA that, you know, within in 2014, next year, we're supposed to be expecting 30 million newly insured patients to enter a system. Wow. You know, it's already stressed. You know, already that there's a doctor yeah. shortage and it's hard to get an appointment. And now we're adding in 30 million new people on top of that, right. that, you know, it's just expected to get worse and worse. And so technologies like ZocDoc that can help make this, you know, system more efficient, I think are going to improve to be more and more important and more valuable. Yeah, I agree. And I think it's going to help, you know, both sides. So. The, the client, the customer themselves, the patient who needs to make that appointment. Uh, I work with a lot of uh, geriatric care managers and they are managing multiple patients. And mm -hmm. um, their primary job is to visit the patient and then also make physician appointments for all of their clientele. And so how are they able to do that efficiently when things need to be done 
rather yeah. quickly and there's more and more demand on that mm -hmm. particular profession. So, and then from the physician side, they're able to maximize their practice and um, help more people in with less time basically by right. having a system like that. So awesome. So tell me what are on, on both sides, I don't know if you have any stories you can share. Do you have any stories on the physician side of, of how ZocDoc helped? And then additionally, do you have any stories on the patient side of just a raving customer that has really appreciated having ZocDoc? So we've heard from many physicians that, you know, wow, like my practice wouldn't exist if it wasn't for ZocDoc. And, you know, we're so grateful to get those reviews. We've had, um, you know, in the past couple months, we actually had a physician who ended up retiring, but wrote in a letter uh, to the company and just said, you know, I want to thank you for, A, you know, your outstanding service that everyone I spoke to at ZocTalk who helped me with my account and my profile, you know, just was so pleasant. Genuinely, I felt like they genuinely cared about me. And just the sheer amount of, you know, new patients, which means new revenue that we were able to bring in for him. He said that, you know, we were able to extend uh, the life of his practice by several years, which he wouldn't have been able to do without ZocDoc. And then on the patient front, while we do make, you know, getting care so much easier, where normally, you know, people really put off that pre important preventative care because it is a pain. Everyone's, they don't have time, you know, to sit there and really stay on top of their appointments. And, you know, who, like you said, wants to wait on hold for 15 minutes to try and get a, an appointment three weeks out. Where because ZocDoc can make it so easy, we heard from a patient about six months ago who again wrote in and was just like, wow, like, I want to thank you guys for saving my life. That, you know, she had been putting off this appointment and, you know, ended up finding out about ZocDoc and instantly booked an appointment. And, you know, turns out that she had cancer. But because she was able to get in quickly using ZocDoc, they caught it early. And, you know, now she's able to be treated and is fully in remission. And so we've gotten, you know, several stories like that, which really, you know, at the end of the day, make this all worthwhile. Oh, absolutely. And it's, um, it seems like such a little thing to overlook, but the barrier to making that appointment stops so many people. And I remember uh, growing up, I remember my mom, you know, making a, a phone call, you know, from the from the landline and you know, calling the doctor and then she was running off to do laundry or she was, you know, stirring something on the stove and she's like, okay, you know, hold the phone and listen. And as soon as the music goes off and someone says, hello, grab me. I don't know if that's, I know I'm much older than you, but I don't know <laughs> if other people can relate to that story. But I remember Definitely. just picking onto the phone and like, mom, someone's on the phone, hold on. And, and, um, and it seems like, hey, where has ZocDoc been? So, and you guys, I am not, <laughs> it sounds like I'm a paid advertiser. I'm not. So this is just something that um, I'm very passionate about tools that systemize our life. And particularly this week, it's all about healthcare. So um, Stacy, thank you so much for um, sharing insight on ZocDoc.com and uh, being here on the show today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. This was great talking to you. So we mentioned all the sites, uh, the site, over and over, and I'm going to have all the notes down below on the show notes and how to link through. And do you guys have Facebook, Twitter? Yes, definitely. We're okay. very active on Facebook and Twitter. You know, definitely, you know, give us a shout. We're, you know, have sure. a great community manager who will respond back. And, you know, we love sharing the love. Okay, we'll put that link down below. All right, bye, everyone. Hey you, where are you going? Stick around for another video. Left or right? Left or right? Hey, don't forget to subscribe.